I really didn't know what it was that 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 I wanted. You know what I'm saying? But but I I, I knew I wanted it to be B. And uh, uh, when I was in the, in, in the army, this is actually the beginning of my dream right here. It's a wooden sign. I think if you look a little closer, we're on the cone. It said Operation Joint Guard. I think that was back in uh, 1997, 1997, 1998. So a soldier actually made this sign for me for a free haircut. <laughs> <laughs> and I still got it today. But, uh, you know, one of the things I want to talk to you all today is uh, just pretty much about what you can expect or what's expected of you once you leave the school, if you're pursuing to become a professional barber or stylist. You know, if, if, if this is something that, you know, you just really want to play with, if you think it's a hustle, clock out now and go home because you're not going to make no money or you're going to be in the shop for a minute and you're gonna move around. You're gonna move around like a fair school. You're gonna move around like a roller coaster. You know, you, you, you're not gonna be uh, stable. So, if this is not really what you want to do, if you, you know, if it's a game, just go on and clock out. Don't waste your time. Don't waste the instructors. Because if you come to a shop like mine, you might not even make it a day. You know, but uh, just, just really, you know, um, it, it, it's, 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 it's different, different different levels of of, 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 of of barbering of barbershops. You know, you know, you got your your hood shop where anything goes, where you can leave right now and go cut hair. They don't, you only need lights. You just gotta pay 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 a little boo friend, that's it. You know, you got the shops who, who try to do things just a little bit different, you know, where they're gonna require you to have a license. But as long as you pay their boofer on time, they don't really care what, what goes on. Then you got a shop like mine, the fake shop, where it's more than just a haircut. I don't care about your cutting hair. That's, that's, that's the last thing I'm worried about because we can get you to that point. What I want to know is your heart. What I want to know is your profession does it. What I want to know is, is are you willing to help your fellow brother? You know what I'm saying? That's what I want to know. And, we, and, and that's by talking to the young kid that's coming through the door, that's acting up at school, that's lost, that's not listening to his mother. See, as a barber, it's not just about cutting your hair out. You understand what I'm saying? It's about pulling that little kid to the side and say, brother, if you keep going in the direction you're going, you're going to have problems. You know, it, you, you're going to end up in one or two places. Either in jail or you're going to end up dead. So that's what barbering is about. So that, that, that's one of the things that you can take with you today to say, okay, you know what? It's not about just cutting hair. It's not. That's, that's, that's the last thing you got to worry about is cutting hair. You're going to have a guy that's sitting in your chair who just lost his job. Hey, you understand what I'm saying? He's been working on his job 10 years. He just lost his job. He don't know what to do. But as a barber, you'll be able to tell him, hey, brother, it's going to be all right. I got a client who's actually a manager at another job that I can hook you up with and get you a job. So that's now you're connecting the dots. You understand what I'm saying? So it's, it's, it's more than just cutting hair. You understand what I'm saying? Now you're out there connecting dots. You're networking. You understand what I'm saying? So you have a, a person who comes in the shop who just lost their best friend, who just lost their mother. They come sit in your chair, man, I don't know what to do. She was all I had. Brother, I understand. But you gotta understand that, 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 that that's 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 a trip we all gonna have to take. It's gonna be okay. If you need me, here's my phone number. Don't do nothing crazy, don't do nothing drastic. Pick up the phone and call me. See, it's more than just a haircut. You understand what I'm saying? Now you're a counselor. You, you, you feel me? So you we, we go back to the to the said entertainer moving barbershop. He said, You're more than just a ball. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're a counselor. You're a fashion consultant. You understand what I'm saying? You're a preacher. You're a father. See, all those great things. You know, you got somebody coming to the shop that's showing their drawers. You got women working in the shop. they showing their drawers. Young brother, excuse me. Pull your pants up. Respect the ladies. Respect the kids. Respect our future. You understand what I'm saying?